got my nice spring turkey here. Uh, it's actually really easy to mount these guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how in a couple of steps here. Uh, just shot him this morning. Uh, pretty nice bird. He's actually got a double beard. Uh, about an inch and uh, eight spurs. Kind of cool little colors here on his tail fan. It's going to look really nice. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the spurs. Uh, I'm going to cut the legs of the hacksaw. Um, I'm going to cut uh, the tail off and then the beard as well. And then, you know, I'm going to breast it out and get the legs and stuff for the meat. But I'm going to show you guys uh, how we mount a turkey fan onto a plaque. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to find um, kind of where the tail comes together at a point almost. And you're going to take your knife and you're going to run around on both sides on that point and the tail actually comes off fairly easy. So I got it here. That tail actually just comes off just like that. So now you can see we have the tail and a couple of those feathers. We'll keep some of those on. That'll look really nice on the mount. Um, so basically, I'll get, I'll get this. I will um, show you guys a little bit later. We're going to um, pin it to a piece of cardboard so it kind of hardens this way. But first, we're going to have to take all the, some of these feathers off. And then there's some meat on there yet. We're going to have to take that off. Alright, next, this guy's actually a double beard, it's pretty cool, I've never actually gotten a double bearded uh, turkey before, so uh, something interesting. So all you're going to do is you're going to find where that beard comes into the skin, and you're going to kind of just pull on it a little bit. And those actually come right off as well, there's the little one. the big one. It's about uh, nine and a half inches and this one's like three or so. So we have our beards and our tail. Um, all right we got the one off. Uh, try not to cut yourself in the process. Saws are sharp. Almost done cutting the other one off. spurs off here. Just took that hacksaw and hacked that off. Um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually run a little nail uh, through that. The bone's actually hollow. You can run a nail and push out that marrow and then there's uh, some tendon here that you can actually grab with the pliers and pull that out. So we'll pull that out and then these are, you can either take the skin off and kind of boil them or you can just leave them as is. I'll probably just leave them as the way they are. I think it looks kind of cool that way. So, we got all the stuff we need for our plaque done. Um, I actually have a buddy who takes the wings off the turkeys that I shoot and he makes arrows out of them. So I am going to go ahead and cut the uh, wings off here and then I'm going to get the meat that I can and get that in the freezer. Um, and then I'll show you how to do the rest of this. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take off a lot of these little feathers here. Kind of, you can kind of tell which ones you want to take off, but I want to keep all those bigger, um, kind of more brownish ones. You can keep these if you want. I just choose to take them off because there's a lot of meat underneath. A lot of times they're really uh, kind of more fuzzy, so I like to take those off. So, I'll take those off. As you can see, so that's going to be... Uh, the bulk of our mount. Maybe take a couple more of those off. Then I'm going to take all these on the back off. You're not going to see those. Actually looking good um, and basically what I'm gonna do now is just really clean off all this meat there get as much meat as I can off there um, and then once we're done with that we're gonna pin it to a board and then we'll put some uh, salt on there to make sure that meat dries up 
um, but it's actually a pretty simple process. So I got my fan fairly well cleared off. Other parts we can get it dried off with the salt. Um, got the meat pretty much scraped off. There's a couple tiny little chunks in there, but I'm not worried about that. So now what I do is I pretty much just lay it on this cardboard, kind of how you want it to appear. And then you're just, just going to take some nails or pins or whatever you have and just kind of pin down the feathers in the shape that you want. So. All right, so my turkey fan has been drying for a little over a week now. I've been continuing to uh, add the salt to it to dry it out. Um, once the salt dries it out good, this hardens up really good. So uh, this is ready to be put on this plaque. I'll let you look at it from the back side and the front. Uh, one other thing that I did is I trimmed up a lot of this little, uh, these feathers have a lot of fuzz on them. I just trimmed that up so it looks a little bit better once it's on this plaque. Um, you can buy these type of plaques. This is actually just a really cheap one that I bought. Um, at a lot of stores, uh, Matuska Taxidermy also sells uh, these types of plaques. They have a lot of different ones to choose from. Um, um, so basically what I'm going to do now is just, um, it's really simple at this point, you just screw your fan in. I have uh, my spurs and my beard uh, right here. So it's basically just screwing everything in and it's pretty much uh, good to go. So what I'm going to do first um, is I'm going to actually screw this fan into the board here. So really you just slide this in there. Right. So just like that. All right, so the fan's in there. Got that screwed down. my turkey spurs so I'm going to screw those in just the same way I did the fan all right that side's in all right the spurs are in there so I have the spurs screwed in now what's left is to screw this beard in, and we're all set. Now what I'm going to do is just going to screw it onto this black here. Alright, so that's screwed in there. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I'd say we're done with it. Pretty happy with how it turned out. It's a really simple thing to do. Um, one of the more simpler animals I think birds there is, especially this type of mount. You're not doing the whole bird, but you're doing a really easy part of it. So honestly, anybody can do this. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of money or experience. Um, just a little bit of your time and uh, you can get yourself a nice turkey fan mount. So I can go ahead and hang this up on the wall now. Thanks for watching.